Good morning, morning Nighthawks. Night I'm Jordan Taylor. And I'm Eva Sandin. And this is our weekly edition of Nighthawk Headline News. One of the best gifts this holiday season at New Hampshire K-8 is the number of new staff who've joined us since the fall. Welcome Sonia and Cheddar to the cafeteria staff. Sharonda Brennan to the custodial staff. Tonya Cooper and Connie Rose, paid paraprofessionals. Matthew Dollar, fourth grade teacher. Laura Shellhorse, seventh grade teacher. Gioti Sharetha, middle school paid paraprofessional. Angela Vickery, ISS officer. Welcome to you all. We're so glad to have you here. On Wednesday, December 7th, 21 students participated in the first annual Spelling Bee at New Hampshire K-8. Congratulations to Halina Wynn, a scholar in Ms. Barr's 7th grade homeroom, the winner of the school-wide contest, and Matthew Reynolds, a scholar in Ms. Parrish's 6th grade homeroom, the first runner-up. Halina will go on to compete at the Spelling Bee at the district level in January. Congratulations to another special Nighthawk Scholar, a 7th grade scholar in Ms. Barr's homeroom, who was selected for the Honors Band for the Savannah Chatham County Public School District. Stay tuned to watch a special performance. <laughs> Congratulations, Olivia Scandura. More than 50 projects were submitted for the first science fair in our new building. High school science teachers and district science instructors came to judge each project. Congratulations to the following students who were selected to advance to the next round. In fourth place, with a score of 42, is Kate Zippe from Mr. Watson's third grade class. In third place, the score of 43 is Gian Patel from Ms. Ruby's third grade class. And in second place, with a score of 45, is Arav Don Mirage from Ms. Weiss's fourth grade class. And the top score for the science fair is, drum roll please, Marco Donate from Mr. Watson's third grade class with a score of 46. The four projects will be entered to the district-wide science fair Thank you to all the students who participated and to the staff members in our community who came to judge. Three special people at New Hampshire K-8 have received recognition beyond our school and our district. Congratulations to Ms. Barboa, REP Middle School Math Teacher, who was chosen by WJCLTV for a teacher feature. Praise for her help and can-do attitude, Ms. Barboa said that she tells her students there are many different strategies but there's only one correct answer. Students and colleagues at New Hampshire K-8 say thank you and congratulations to Ms. Barboa. Congratulations also go to sixth grade English slash language arts teacher, Ms. Parrish, who received a $500 golden grant through the McDonald's Corporation. Ms. Parrish will use the grant, which she titled, Give Us a Break, to purchase outdoor equipment which sixth graders who exhibit good behavior can take outside to the playground. Items purchased include a giant Jenga game, various sizes of balls, cornhole games, and jump ropes. Congratulations also to Ms. Green Bryant, Administrative Secretary at New Hampshire K-8 and a coach for Girls on the Run, whose application for a grant to support the program by providing running shoes, after-school snacks, and transportation to off-campus community service projects was approved by the Golden Grant Foundation as well. Thank you for all that you do to help make New Hampshire K-8 great. A random act of kindness is an unplanned, unexpected act of kindness or helpfulness often done for a stranger. It's something that students at NHK-8 who proud know about and do. 7th grade students in Ms. Barr's class and students in the National Arts Honor Society at the high school crafted unique bookmarks for the NHK-8 Media Center. They then place them randomly in books for you to discover. If you find one, it's yours to keep. Thank you to Ms. Barr's class and thank you to the students in the National Art Honor Society. 
A gift doesn't have to be wrapped to be a present. Sometimes it's all about being present. Scholars from New Hampshire High School gave up their time and talents when members of the musical theater class surprised NHK scholars with an early morning performance in the cafeteria. Elves then returned on Friday morning to assist in the morning's car rider line. This group of teenagers also helped shelf books on Friday in the media center, and on special occasions, they also dressed up in costume and read to our kindergarten and first grade classes. Thank you so much to our big brothers and big sisters at New Hampshire High School. Another gift this holiday season is volunteers who come in to help. Thank you to members of the PTO. We have a wonderful tree in our lobby and there is a holiday shop that our scholars have been visiting. Thank you for creating special holiday moments for our Night Pop family. Hey guys, it's the PTO team. So we have the big winner today for the Googly Eye Monster Super Cute Plush. Thank you everyone for participating in our Charleston Wrap fundraiser. All of the online portion has now ended. So we're gonna do our drawing. Yay. So everyone who brought in the coupons, when you hit the next level, you're all in here. So let's make the drawing. The winner is Killian Corey from Yay. Miss Bouquet's class, the kindergartner. <laughs> Congrats. Yay, congratulations. Thank you again for participating. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Taylor. And I'm Eva Solomon. We'll see you next week, and remember, until then, make sure to stay Nighthawks on the Prowl.